weren't that close and Thomas weren't that close, but we hung out a lot during the trip and like, you know, we're like, yeah, we're good. Like, what, did, what did you learn about them as the trip went on? What, do you, what were your thoughts about them? Um, like, I learned that, like, Lindy is actually, like, really outgoing outside of, like, he's serious in the, on, in the basketball side, but outside he's kind of, like, goofy and funny, and I'm kind of the same way, so we got along really well. What's the adjustment been like for you coming here to OSU? Uh, it's been really hard, but I've been able to adjust with the help of our captains. Like, they always push me to go the extra mile. You guys as a front quarter are pretty young. How important has Cam been in you guys' growth so far? Uh, tremendously. Like every every day Cam is talking to me and Kent about how we need to go harder, how like the next bigs are, are not gonna take it easy on us, so we have to compete every day in practice and the way we so and so. What has it been like for you to see Kent's progression all the weight that he's lost since he's been here? Oh, it's been crazy. I I haven't seen anybody lose that much weight, like, in person, to like, ever. And, like, it, it's crazy because I saw it, like, happen progressively. Like, in the summer, I saw how he was, like, 300-plus pounds. And then each day, I would see him, and he would be, like, more slim. And I'm like, bro, you're getting, you're getting skinnier, and I can tell, and it's weird. How competitive are you two? You both kind of occupy the same space a little bit. Oh, like, we're really good friends uh, outside of the court, but once we get on the court, like, our friendship goes away. Like, we got to, like, go hard against each other, as hard as we can, like, so we can make each other better. That's how our friendship works. Like, once we get on the court, we're not friends, but once we're off, we can go joke around and do whatever, but we're trying to make each other better. What kind of impact has Coach Boynton made since you've been here? Um, like, what do you mean? How has he impacted you? How has he made you better? Oh, he, um, well, when I was at home, I didn't shoot that much shots on my own, but, like, in the summer, he, like, made it, um, we have to, like, we have to make, like, a thousand shots a week, and he, he pushed me personally to shoot more than a thousand and make more than a thousand shots and 500 free throws every month, and, like, he's always on me in practice to go harder. He says, like, I can always give more, which I know I can, and that's, like, how he's impacted me. In recruiting, what attracted you to him and to OSU? Um, just the relationship part. We built, like, a great relationship, and he would, like, call and text and check up on me. Not even about the basketball part, just about school, and life, girls, like, <laughs> every, everything that's going on. He's, like, a great person and coach. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose the fingers? Um, I lost them when I was about two or three years old. Um, I was with my grandma, and she had a blender on, and I had put my uh, fingers in there, and they had gotten stuck. I guess it happened so young, you haven't really had to adjust to life without them. You've um, been that no, way like your whole life? Yeah, not really. I've been, I've been like this my whole life, so I've just grown to adapt. Like, I write with my right hand. I shoot with my left though, but I'm right-handed, but I learned how to shoot with my left really young, so it's no problem anymore. Is there anything that is difficult, like tying shoes? Uh, not really. I mean, it takes me a little bit longer to tie my shoes than everybody else, but it's no problem. Do you even notice it on the court? No, not really. I, I often forget about it, like, all the time. Like, it's normal <laughs> to me. Maybe not to others, but it's completely normal to me. Do you make up any stories of how you lost them to scare anybody or anything? Uh, nah. <laughs> I mean, to, like, when I was younger, I used to joke around, say, like, a dog bit them off or, like, a lion or something just to mess with people. But uh, not, not anymore. I kind of outgrew that. <laughs>